Hi, and welcome to question one of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Maths paper. So, as always, if you want a copy of the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetry at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so question one here is a kind of tax question. Um, and just starting off here with, I suppose, exchange rates, money, percentages, tax, you know. So Jane buys a laptop online for $699 plus a shipping cost of 30 So straight away, I see a calculation there, like the total cost. Okay, and I'm going to try to spell it out here. The total cost would be the 699 plus the 30 so the total cost would be now that should be 729 although it's worth double checking the calculator now then they tell me that the exchange rate is one dollar okay equals what was it 0 0.9 um 90 cents basically or 0 0.9 of a euro now i like to approach um i suppose exchanges or conversions in an algebraic form if one dollar equals 0.9 well then like two dollars would equal twice that and in essence all you got to do is multiply by two both sides to find out what two dollars equals now in this situation we're not worried about what two dollars equals we're worried about what seven two nine equals so i'm going to multiply this side by seven two nine i'm going to just write out here by seven two nine if i do it to one side i have to do the same thing to the far side now, 1 by 729 is just 729, but that's um, equal to, I have the answer here, you can begin to use the calculator, it's 656.1, and that's euros. It makes sense, this number is a little bit less than 729, it's 90% of 729, is one other way of looking at it, and, and that's it. Okay, so it's a nice handy question, it's got 10 marks going for it, in essence, this 4 would have been achieved by just adding these two numbers. So it's always worth trying something, even if it's a situation where you're not quite getting what the question is asking. Now that's part A, and this is the answer here on the in the notes. Now part B is a tax thing. Jane has a gross annual income of 56,000. That's a very decent salary. Jane pays income tax on her gross income at a rate of 20% on the first 44,300, and then 40% on the balance. Now, Ireland has a fairly progressive tax system, and that's kind of how they refer to it. And let's say you earned, I don't know, 26,000 a year. You wouldn't be anywhere close to having to pay tax at the higher rate. So if you earn a lot of money, you pay more tax the more you earn. Okay, that's what progressive means. So um, straight away, I can do a calculation, even without reading what the question is asking. Um, if I can find out what's 20% of 44,300, okay, so 44,300 multiply by 20%. Now that's a calculator job, okay, um, I probably should do the calculations on the calculator. Um, so that's 44,300 multiply below. I can use the percentage button on the calculator, okay, I could also multiply by 20 over 100 or which is the same thing as 0.2. No matter how we do it, I'm getting an answer there of 8,860 euro. Now, Jane earns more than this. So the difference between her earnings, 56,000, and the 44,300 is what she pays tax at the higher rate. And that number there should be, um, so I went on too far, should be 11,700. Now that 11,700, she pays tax at the 40% rate. So again, similar calculation, okay. Um, this time I'm gonna do it by 0.4, just to show that it would be the same thing, 11,000, 40% is the same thing as 0 0.4, okay. And that gives me a figure of 4680. I just realized I never actually read the question. Um, part one, this says work out Jane's annual income tax at each of these two rates. The 20%, which we did over here, and the 40%, which we did just here. 
Now, normally you're asked to work out her like total tax, and you'd have to add them, but they're not doing that in this situation, so that's that seems to be it. And in the notes here, I've done basically the same thing. Now, part two then, uh, it's only worth five marks, says Jane has annual tax credits of 3,300. So let's say I owed 10,000 in tax and I had a tax credit of 3,000. I wouldn't have to pay all that tax to the government. I'd have to pay the difference. So 10,000 take away 3,000 would be, I'd have to pay 7,000 tax. So we know that um, Jane is paying 8,860 plus the 4,000, um, the 4,680 from the previous part. So 4,680, okay. Now I can add them together. Um, I'll use the calculator to make sure I don't mess it up. So the previous answer plus the 8,860 gives me 13,540. I'm going to double check that because I know what I'm like. Okay, so that's the tax, okay, that she owes. Now, the government say, look, 3,300 of that you don't owe, okay? And your tax rate is based on your marital status and different, th different things. So if we take them away, that should be 04201. So she owes 10,240 euros in tax. Now the question says, work out her annual take-home pay. So her original salary was uh, 56,000. I'm gonna take away the tax that she owes. Now I could do it by hand, but calculators are our friends. Okay, take away, that's 45,760. 45,760. That's her take-up pay. I should, I should probably make it more obvious what I've done. And in the notes, I've kind of done it out in a more long-winded way. Her take-up pay is her gross pay, take away the tax at 20%, take away the tax at 40%, and then giving you back what the government uh, uh, lets you away with, for lack of a better word. Put the numbers in, okay, throw them to the calculator, and I got the same answer. So that's the end of question one for the Junior Start Higher Level 2022 paper. And see you in question two. If you want to copy the notes, just send an email to shanetry at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. Thanks.